Hi, have you ever come up with a video game idea in your head, but couldn't actually make it because you don't know how to code? Well, that was exactly me. But where did the whole idea come from? There was a game I used to love. It was called Dark Orbit, an old browser-based MMORPG where you could upgrade spaceships, complete missions, and do a ton of farming. I spent hours playing it after school and sometimes even during school. But there was one problem. It was too hard. And since Flash Player was discontinued, it's almost impossible to play it again. Yet I love that feeling of just flying through space, farming, upgrading. It completely pulled me in. That's when the idea came to me. What if I made my own version? A game similar to Dark Orbit, but exactly how I want it to be. Of course, there's already a similar one on Android, War Universe. And I did try it, but honestly, it just wasn't enough for me. Not enough content, not enough experience. And now, in the age of AI, when almost anyone can create something, why shouldn't I try too? With zero programming experience, just enthusiasm and a goal. A few years ago, I discovered a game engine called GDevelop. You don't need to code, and there are tons of tutorials for it. So far, I've only made a few smaller platformer projects, around 50 hours of total practice. But now the time has come. I've decided I'm going to make my own game based on my own ideas, in my own style. If you're curious to see how this project develops, join me on this journey, because this one's truly my passion project. So let's get started with a completely empty project. It's optimized for pixel art, so the pixels don't blend together. This way, everything stays nice, sharp, and clean. Now let's dive into our first enemy model. I tried to give it a bit of an insect-like appearance. I don't think it turned out bad, though it does look a bit strange. But that's fine. We'll remodel it later anyway. In the meantime, enjoy the time lapse. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Next up, let's work on the background. Nothing fancy, just a dark, purplish backdrop with a few stars to bring a little life into this otherwise empty game world. And now that we've got those done, it's time for the main part, the player's ship. Honestly, I'm not even sure what kind of design I was going for, but it definitely turned out interesting. Of course, we'll be remodeling this one too, since the final game will feature many more ships to choose from. <laughs> what the fuck? Let's continue with the background. If I just attach it directly to the player, it doesn't really give any sense of depth. That's where the parallax effect comes in. As the player moves, the background shifts slightly with them, and suddenly, it feels like there's real space in the game. Of course, this is just the basics. Later, we'll add more backgrounds, planets, and various objects. But for now, we're happy with this. Now let's create a new area where once you enter, the game automatically spawns enemies up to a certain limit. And that's exactly why I love the G-Develop engine. I don't have to write the entire code for it, I just pick the right behavior, and it works right away. All I need to do is add the logic. When I enter the zone, the enemies immediately attack. Now that we've got that set up, let's make a temporary crosshair so we can actually aim. And of course, we'll need a projectile too, because we've got to defend ourselves somehow. And yep, here's the magic of G-Develop again. It already has ready-made behaviors for this as well. So I just need to put together the logic and we can start shooting. After all that, the background still felt a bit empty to me. So I imported an Earth-like planet from my previous project. I think it turned out pretty well. It fits perfectly with the mood of our game. Sure, it's still a bit low res for now, but we'll polish all of this later to make it look much better. And while I was at it, I added a little extra, a black hole, which will play a very important role in the game later on. But until then, enjoy the time lapse.
If you enjoyed the video and are curious about what's next, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next part. We'll see each other in the next video and I promise, from here on, the continuation will be much more detailed and longer. As soon as the game reaches a reasonably playable state, I'll definitely share it with all of you. And don't forget, this game isn't just being made by me, it's being made by all of us together. I'll shape, refine, and develop it based on your feedback.